Okay, so we're looking at a uh, higher purchase. I know we've done it in class already, but we're just putting the video together for this one. So higher purchase, paying off for goods over a period of time when you don't have enough money. Okay, so an example might be you've got a um, $1,000 fridge, you make a deposit, and then you pay off the rest over three years. Okay? So there's two types of questions. Uh, one is you know, we, you know the interest you charge as a percentage, but you have to find the monthly payments. And the second type of question is, you know the monthly payments and you have to find the interest charged, okay? And the interest charged is always per annum, okay? That's important, you have, the interest is only ever quoted per annum, okay? And the interest charged is always per annum. So, let's have a look at two examples. So the first one, is you know the interest rate. So we've done a few of these. A five thousand dollar car, okay, you got you got an amount, you've got a deposit, and you've got interest charged, and you've got three years, and you're paying it off monthly. So they're the key words. A, a car, a deposit, interest charged, time. Okay, so come to the next page. So I've just transferred the information. Five thousand dollar car 10% deposit, 15% interest, three years. So the deposit is, uh, in the case, so 10%, it's 10 over 100, multiply by the amount, and you get $500. So how much do you owe? You still owe $4,500 on the car. Now the interest is charged, not on what you started with, but what, on you, what you still owe. So this is your PRT calculation, PRT. So the, that is the interest that you're charged because you didn't pay it off the car straight away. So how much do you owe? Well, you still owe the balance and you owe the interest, which is the new amount. So all up, you still owe $6,525 $6, on your $5,000 car. And so we look at how many times, how many months, okay? So that's three years and we're paying it in months. So divide by 36 and you get $181.25. So if you pay that off for, for three years, um, you'll have paid off the car. Okay, so copy that down if you need to and then come to the next page. So the second example is you know the payments, but you've got to find the interest, and this is a lot harder. So we've still got you know, a similar example. We've got a $5,000 car with a 10% deposit, just to make it different. I've only got two years of payments, and you're told what the payments are but you don't know what, what the interest rate was. So let's ha have a look. So let's move it down a bit. So I'm going too far. So the deposit was 10%. Sorry, the pen's playing up. So 10% of 5,000 5, is still five, $500. So you still owe $4,500. And we're not going to use that number until the end. So that number we don't use now until the end. But you've got two years of payments, so that's 24 months. Okay, two years is 24 months, times 255 from the question. So that means you've paid $6,120 in your payments. And next step is, how much have you paid for the car? Well, you've paid the deposit, and then you've paid the monthly payments. So they're the amounts you've actually paid for the car. Uh, so working, we're calculating the extra paid. So that's the amount you've paid for the car. That's what the car was worth. So $1,620 is how much extra you've paid. And because we've paid it off over two years, that's equal to $810 each year. So it's divided by two. If it's three years, divide by three. If it's four years, divide by four. And the hardest part is this last part. So you put that number, goes on top, and here was the balance that you owe because that's what you pay interest on. You don't pay interest on what you've paid. You pay interest on what you still owe. And that's called a fraction, that's a fraction, and multiply by 100, and you get 18%, okay? And I think that might be it. So on Moodle, there's worksheets. So you can practice those. Okay, there you go.